Hey there guys, so I finally got the results back from the laboratory on the uh, factory fill oil on the Gen 3 Eco Diesel, and I just wanted to share with you what I found. Now this is pretty typical of what you'd see from the very first oil change. The metals in the oil were pretty high, uh, but again, as they describe here in the comments section, that's pretty typical for a brand new engine because obviously it's wearing in, breaking in, and you're going to get some higher metals um, in there. You know, probably your first uh, one, maybe your first two or three oil changes. Uh, they indicate here that typically around 8,400 miles of use uh, is when you start to see things level off to universal averages. But anyhow, just to go through here, now I don't know exactly which oil um, FCA is using at the factory. I have heard that it's the Pennzoil Euro 5W40, um, but... You know, aluminum was high, iron and copper looking pretty high there. Silicon, so you've got some pretty high levels of oil, of metals uh, in a lot of cases. But again, pretty typical of what you would see, you know, uh, with a new engine. So you can see there, aluminum was uh, 14. Here's the universal averages over on this side over here. Um, so again, kind of, kind of high there, but the good thing about it is that the oil that was used at the factory did a really good job. Now I had a little over 4,000 miles on this oil change. I always do the first one early on purpose for this very reason to get some of those metals out. Uh, but the viscosity, you know, those numbers are right where it's supposed to be for a 5W40 oil at over 4,000 miles. Flash point was looking really good. No fuel or antifreeze or water was found in the oil. Uh, this is interesting, the TBN total base number, 6.1. So, you know, I did a lot of uh, stop and go, a lot of towing, you know, pretty much a lot of different things with this truck, first 4,200 miles, and I expected it to, uh, to have a little bit more wear on the oil than it did. So, you know, if the oil is starting off, I think this particular oil starts off around a seven or maybe an eight somewhere in that ballpark and it's still showing a 6.1 camera's not focused sorry then uh, that's pretty good it indicates that it should be easy to go you know 8,000 miles or so on an oil change so uh, looking like this engine so far is uh, doing pretty well on its oil usage now something else i'll mention while i'm thinking about it the owner's manual specifically states that under no circumstances should you ever exceed 10,000 miles on an oil change. And that's kind of the same verbiage that you'll see on the gas engines like the Pentastar, for example, as well. So they absolutely don't want you to go past 10,000 miles on an oil change. And I've read one account on the forum uh, where a guy needed some engine work done under warranty, some pretty serious engine work, and they started looking at his oil records because he did his own maintenance and they saw where he had gone beyond 10,000 miles on one of his oil cycles, and they ended up uh, not covering the repair under warranty. Now, is he telling the truth or not? I don't know. You read a lot of stuff on the forums, but I can see him doing that, you know, and you don't want to take the chance on it. Uh, so you don't ever want to go past 10,000 miles, uh, which kind of insinuates that 7,500, maybe 8,000 miles would be a better interval to stick with even on the diesel engine. You know, there's a lot of rumors going around out there that one of the benefits of the diesel is that you can go longer on an oil change cycle, and that's not true. That is not true, especially on these new modern diesels that have the fancy emission systems and everything. You gotta make sure that you stick to proper maintenance and keep fresh oil in this thing on a regular basis. So, you know, seeing that TBN number looking so good at over 4,000 miles, I think I'm gonna try to go six or 8,000. Uh, I might even go 8,000, go ahead and go 8,000, so my next analysis will kind of give me an idea of where I'm at, but, you know, I think 8,000 is going to be a, a sweet spot for most people who use their truck like I do, so anyway, just FYI on that. And a little more FYI on this funky oil filter. Now, there's, uh, you know, we've been trying to figure out what's going on with this, because some of these Gen 3 filters have a non-removable element, and some of them have a removable element. And it's starting to look like what may have happened is that in the beginning they were using these that have a removable element, uh, but the rumor is that something was going on where the uh, relief valve that's built in down here in the cap uh, and the filter were not uh, happy together, were not working as designed. Maybe some issue was going on with that. 
that FCA engineers were not, you know, happy about. And so at some point during the run, they made a change to the new one, which is non-removable. So it's the same setup, same cap and filter element. They've just changed it now to where it's not removable anymore. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of these out there in circulation that are removable, but it looks like going forward in the future, if you buy these, it's going to have the non-removable one. So I think that's what's going on is that they just made a part number change or a part design change, um, you know, as production was moving forward. So that's why there's two different styles out there. But nonetheless, this thing has a list price of 92 bucks and you can still go to dieselfiltersonline.com and get it for about half of that uh, as of July of 2020. Now going forward, you know, obviously their prices may go up, but for right now, they still have the best price I can find on the Gen 3 oil filter. So check them out. Save you a bunch of money there.